Hello everyone and welcome to my Bachelor Nation 24 channel, I hope. Everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Gold Rush Exclusive Parker Schnabel's Lucifer and Gravity Win the Heavy Tug of War On the next Gold Rush for Discovery, Parker Schnabel has expanded his crew and we will watch a very expensive piece of equipment get sucked into the mud. Parker's cumbersome beast sluicifer plant is being pulled by another piece of equipment. In TV shows Ace exclusive clip, we see Parker still at the promised land as he watches his dirt-moving machinery losing the battle, as it cannot take the weight of the wash plant as it slowly heads into the water. Advising Parker in this preview are Shane Smith with Tyson Lee driving the excavator. Parker has most of his crew divvied up and is at this spot, while Slucifer is busy processing pay. But don't count the other moneymaker Big Red out, as last week they cleared over 300 ounces just from that plant. Gold rush so far for Parker and the rest of the miners. Mitch and Brennan had to shut their plant Big Red down. The Schnibble crew was just spread too thin. Some new hires and bingo. They were back up in business, closing out last week with over 300 ounces. Parker is clearly scoring the biggest goal this season. And our man Rick Ness was positioned at Duncan Creek on good ground. Two years of barely breaking even, he needs 70 ounces a week to make it. Rick Ness has been behind the eight ball for time and cash, so he brought mechanic Carl Rosk back to the fold. They had to move a wash plant across a river that has steep access and lots of questionable maneuvering last week, and it worked out. Ness is still fighting time as his wash plant must generate more money to pay for all his expenses that are piling up on him. His pay average up until this episode was around 40 ounces of gold, but newcomer Mark Doverspike seemed like a promising addition to the Ness crew. Hometown pal Cruz is still working out well too. Remember that Rick has to pay Troy Taylor 100 ounces a month as a lease royalty payment. This week will we see his new expensive hopper feeder pay off. He is just above water after paying Troy off and paying out the hopper cost. Last week we saw that the Beats crew were at Paradise Hill still battling to make a comeback after missing the mark two years in a row. Tony is cracking the whip on his kids still as this season he is shooting for 3,000 ounces. His daughter Monica and sons Kevin and Michael are working overtime. Make sure to tune in to see how this new crew is working with the existing Schnibble crew and if Parker continues his hot streak with gold yields. He really has the Midas touch this season. In the dense, green heart of the Klondike, where towering pines shade the ancient earth and rivers, Flow like veins of gold, Parker Schnabel stands at the helm of his formidable mining operation. The morning sun barely peeks over the horizon, casting long shadows over his vast claim. The air is alive with the hum of machinery, the scent of diesel, and the metallic clink of tools against stone. Today is a critical day in the saga of Schnabel's quest for wealth, and all eyes are on Slucifer. Parker's legendary wash plant, Slucifer, has been his steadfast ally in the race for gold, a hulking beast of metal that towers over the ground like a mechanical titan. It's the very heartbeat of his operation, separating the gold-laden dirt from its precious treasure. But despite the plant's iron might, Parker knows that even Slucifer faces an invisible foe, one as ancient as the mountains themselves, gravity. And today, that natural force will either be his greatest ally or his bitterest enemy. The morning is thick with anticipation. Parker's team moves like a well-oiled machine around the site. Rick Ness, Parker's right-hand man, secures the final hoses to Slucifer's water pump, ensuring that when the moment comes, the plant will roar to life. Meanwhile, Mitch, the mechanical genius of the crew, double-checks every belt and bolt, his eyes squinting in concentration beneath the brim of his cap. With each clank of metal, the stakes rise. Parker, however, stands apart from the frenetic energy of his crew. His sharp eyes scan the landscape as if reading the Earth's secrets. He's learned over the years that gold doesn't just sit waiting on the surface. It's buried deep, 
trapped in the layers of rock and soil that have settled over millennia. And now, Slucifer, with its insatiable hunger for dirt, must wrestle those treasures from the grip of gravity. But today's operation is not without its challenges. The section of land Parker has chosen for this season's big haul is precarious. The ground is soft, saturated by recent rains, and the gold-bearing dirt is sitting at an awkward angle, balanced on a slope that seems to taunt Parker with every glance. Gravity pulls the loose gravel and silt down into natural ravines, threatening to sweep away his hard-earned dirt before it even reaches Slucifer's waiting maw. This is a real tug of war with Mother Nature. Parker mutters under his breath, adjusting his hard hat. If we don't control that dirt, gravity's gonna win, and we'll be out of gold and out of time. The plan is simple but risky. Parker and his team will use heavy equipment to push the gold-bearing dirt towards Slucifer, relying on gravity to guide the material down the slope. But they must control the flow meticulously. Too much force, and the dirt will cascade past the plant, lost to the ravine below. Too little, and Slucifer will starve, unable to process enough material to reach their ambitious gold goals. It's a delicate dance between man, machine, and nature. All right, let's do this, Parker calls out to his crew. The tension breaks as engines rumble to life. The first truck, a massive behemoth of metal and hydraulics, moves into position, its bucket loaded with what could be a fortune in gold-rich gravel. As the bucket tips, gravity takes over. A waterfall of dirt begins to tumble down the slope, a slow-motion cascade of potential riches. Parker watches it with narrowed eyes, calculating the speed and trajectory. Go slow, he orders over the radio, his voice calm but firm. We can't afford to lose any of it. The dirt slides towards Slucifer, and for a moment, it seems like all is going well. But then, a trickle turns into a surge, and the gravel starts slipping faster, the weight of the earth gaining momentum. Pull it back, Parker yells. Mitch, in the driver's seat of the bulldozer, reacts instantly, pushing the next load at an angle to slow the flow. For a heart-pounding moment, it looks like the dirt will overshoot, but Slucifer's wide intake catches the rush just in time. The plant groans as it begins to devour the gravel, its vibrating screen separating gold from the muck with mechanical precision. The battle between man and gravity continues for hours, a delicate balancing act that requires every ounce of Parker's focus. His crew works tirelessly, timing their movements to the second, pushing dirt at just the right speed and angle to feed Slucifer without overwhelming it. As the sun climbs higher, casting its golden light over the operation, the tide begins to turn. Slowly but surely, the team gains control. The dirt flows in manageable streams, guided expertly by the heavy machinery. Slucifer hums contentedly as it processes the material, and Parker's gamble starts to pay off. She's holding. Mitch radios in, his voice tinged with relief. Parker grins, wiping the sweat from his brow. Keep it steady. We're not done yet.